remember to share remember to like remember to comment on this video if you found it very informative and interesting once more remember to subscribe to my channel for more episodes on this we are still on how to develop a business idea and various steps you have to take to set up that successful business identify that business that has that potential for growth that that has that enabling ground for growth we are talking about pasture here identify that business that can grow and will still remain in business without fear you will remain in business identify it first passion second pasture i have mentioned this and i keep saying it over and over again so in a nutshell identify that business that particular business you have passion for i've mentioned so many things here those that has passion for football see how they you know identify the business gap in there and cue into the opportunity the business is still there and is growing those that have love communication and socializing see how they cue in they identify the business gap and they cue into it you see mark and co you see them now they are making their money everybody no no one wants to be left behind everybody wants to be in facebook everybody wants twitter everybody wants instagram everyone all professionals want linkedin so you see queue in identify that business gap and queue in those that love uh, what do you call it those that love finance you see where they are pos guys then they 20 percent for 10k yeah you will drop the money if you want the money. You will drop it. You will drop the 20% if you want the quick cash. So that is it. Identify that business that has growth. Not the one that will phase out with time. Not the one that is on its peak that will decline with time. Yeah. Take a look. Nigerians are car freak. We love cars. Okay. So in Nigeria, there are two things they are looking at economical with a little touch of class that's what nigerians buy for a product and that's what japanese are offering them you see in nigeria people that buy american cars they are they're not much not because american cars are not good they are good but they are not offering nigerians what they are looking for that's why if you count 100 cars in nigeria you find american cars few as for me, I love Ford. I love American car. But the point there is, they are someone out there may identify that loophole, you know, and try and invest in it. It becomes a business. I think that's what Japanese uh, did anyway. You remember those days, German products, okay? Before they, before they, before they bring out a new model, it would take ten years. I remember the seven different cars my dad had that time. It's still between Peugeot and Mercedes and all the rest. So every 10 years they bring the, they bring new model. But see what the Japanese did. Do you understand the loophole, the gap? Some other companies we are doing every 10 years. And this particular company came out and started investing, producing their product every year every two years new model new and varieties these are the things i'm talking about you have this class you have the other class you have this model 2020 2022 2024 and anyone that that is driving 20 want the latest model they want the latest do you understand it now that's what keeps you going in a business. Identify what others are not doing. Try and improve on it. There are some, okay, you didn't have that, you know, to uh, innovate. No problem. Identify what others are not doing. Try and improve on it. As I was saying, if American automobile companies can look into this, make your car spare parts readily available. It's a business. Do you know why I love Japanese somehow? They make classy, mid they cover all grants for the elite, middle class, you know, lower class. They are all rounds. 
It's not all about the earnings. Yes, you may have, you are making your money, but try and touch the under too. That is business for you. I'm not saying you should change whatever goal you have. No, 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 no. Automobile technician is there at every stone throw. But you cannot count that for any American car. Any American product, you can't. You can't find auto technician anywhere except Lagos. And some of those who try as much as they can to, you know, use their old experience, you know, to handle American cars. So you see, it's very difficult. Now, see the business gap I'm trying to... Any good automobile person or personnel that want to invest on this can set up a company for auto technicians to take care of American cars. You don't need to call Lagos anymore. If it's in Owera, you look for two or three places in Owera and, you know, set up your business. If it's in Abuja, the same. if it's in Port Harcourt, same thing. You know, it becomes a company of its own. Those that love, see, those that love American cars, they will come. You have your customers already waiting. Secondly, Nigerians love something that is economical. Okay? Nobody wants to buy something that, you know, even if, see, most Nigerians, if you dash them some American cars, even if you dash them 10 kobo, they'll not take. Guy, they'll not take it. Why? Because you cannot buy a car that the cost of maintenance is even higher than the cost of purchase. It doesn't really make sense. So here, if Ford and other American automobile companies can look into this, make your car spare parts readily available, you see, no Nigerian would like to buy a car that they have to go to Lagos to go and get a mechanic for maintenance. Or they have to call Lagos to buy any parts. Everywhere in Nigeria, the only place they know is Lagos, Ojo Elegba, uh, Ladepo, or Trade Fair. Outside these three, you're on your own. If you are driving any American car, if you fail to identify them at Ajo Legba there, for any good mechanic, you're on your own. But see Japanese cars, guy, anywhere. It's like MTN, anywhere you go. From here to here, every stone throw, you have Japanese automobile technician. Every two poles. Every cap. Check out that thing you have passion for and develop a business idea for it. You understand what I'm saying? Develop a business idea for that thing you have passion for. That business that have a laboring ground for growth. Secondly, you can develop an existing business. See the loophole. See the business gap. Take advantage of the loophole there. You understand me? That's how to create. That's how to develop a business idea that has an enabling ground for growth. Something you have passion for. Alright guys, on my next episode, we'll be talking more of feasibility study. Still on how to set up a successful business. Please remember to share, remember to like, remember to comment on the video. Remember, this is an interactive channel. We we'll keep on interacting with each other. Interact with me. You understand what I'm saying? Please remember to come back here next time for more episodes. Thank you for watching. Bye.